Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and today I am going to talk to you about scams in EVE Online. It is permissible under crowd control production rules for other players to try and scam you out of your ISK property and whatnot. This is considered legitimate gameplay, so in your dealings with other players, you have to make sure uh, that you know exactly what you're getting into. I am right now in the Jita Solar System, Constellation Kimo Toro, Region the Forge. Jita is the single largest trading hub in all of EVE Online by the amount of goods that are traded on the market. And I am right now I am looking at Jita Local. And people are posting links to contracts in the local channel. Now what's a contract? A contract is an in-game mechanism by which you can exchange some stuff for some other stuff. Uh, and let me like, click on... There was a good example here that would be pretty easy to demonstrate. Here we go. So somebody's saying in Cheetah Local that they're they selling a coveter blueprint with certain characteristics, researched blueprint original, and is selling it for 2.5 billion. Now, if that were actually true, then it might be worth the price. However, if you take a close look at the contract, you will see uh, what you see here is what type of contract it is. This is an auction. So the starting bid was set at 1 million ISK. The buyout price is 2.5 billion ISK. All right, so 2.5 times 10 to the ninth power ISK. So somebody could pay 2.5 billion interstellar credits to just buy out the auction outright and end the auction early. The current highest bid is 70.4 million. Right. But it's not a blueprint original. It's a blueprint copy with one run. Now it does have the advertised material and productivity levels, but that's not really worth two and a half billion ISK. A blueprint original would have an infinite number of licensed runs remaining. It's never going to disappear. You take this blueprint, you try to manufacture a coveter, it's only got one licensed run on it. As soon as that manufacturing job is complete, this blueprint goes poof. Such is the nature of a blueprint copy. All right. You have to be very careful with the contracts that you're dealing with. Here's another one. Rigged Raven auction ends in less than 24, hour, 24 hours. Starting bid is 65 million. Uh, let's take a look at that one. So here we have a Raven. It's rigged with large warhead rigger catalysts. Uh, starting bid is 65 million. Let's see, what is the large warhead rigger catalyst? Uh, decrease the signature radius factor. Blah. It reduces the explosion radius of missiles. Okay, so it's better at hitting smaller targets. It's got no other modules on it. It's just the hull and the rigs. Uh, you know what? This might. This one probably isn't a scam. That looks like a reasonable. That looks like a reasonable starting bid for it. Okay, so that's not a scam. Not everything in Jita is a scam, but a lot is. Oh, here's one. Getting rid of some stock. Mexalon. 1,050,000 units of Mexalon, and he wants to sell it in by contract for 210 million ISK. Alright. So if you need a lot of Mexalon, you'll pay 210 million ISK to get the Mexalon off of this contract. Let's do some math. Pull out the calculator. Uh, 210 million divided by 1,050,000. I come up with 200 ISK per unit of Mexilon. Let's show info on Mexilon. No, I can't pull up the market details. Let me pull up the market details on Mexilon. So search Mexilon. Look at the market details. And let's see what I've got here. Let me make sure I've got lowest sell orders and highest buy orders displayed. So sell orders are as low as 27 ISK per unit. If we're looking at JITA only, where are the, oh, here we go. 29 ISK per unit, and the buy orders in JITA are about 28 and a half ISK per unit. 
So keep that number in mind, roughly 30 ISK per mexilon, current market prices. This is 200 ISK per mexilon. So that's about six and a half times the normal price. All right. So you got to make sure you're doing the mathematics when evaluating a contract. Be especially careful of any contracts that sounds like there's a very limited time opportunity, because if it, is real, if it turns out to be a scam, the contract issuer is trying to trick you into making a mistake in a big rush. All right. So take your time when looking at the contracts. Because if you do get scammed, CCP is not going to reimburse you, is not going to punish the uh, scammer, because it's a legitimate game activity. Let's see, what else do we have here? Uh... Alright, here's a similar Mexilon contract. That's 198 million for 900,000. Two hundred twentieth per unit. There are plenty of other kinds of scams. If you, let me tell you about one of the market scams. If you go to Neocom character sheet, you go to the skill section, the trade tab, uh, I'm sorry, the trade header. There's a skill here called margin trading, uh, which I don't meet the prerequisites for because I didn't get accounting level four, not that I would use this. Ability to make potentially risky investments work in your favor. Each level of skill reduces the percentage of ISK placed in market escrow when entering buy orders. Starting with an escrow percentage of 100% at level 0, untrained skill, each skill level cumulatively reduces the percentage by 25%. For a maximum reduction of approximately 24% total escrow at level 5. What that means is the following. Let me just take a look at the mega site mineral market here for a moment. In previous videos, I've explained how buy and sell orders work in basic. Uh, what margin trading does, normally when you put up a buy order, say you want to buy 5,000 mega site. This person wants to buy 5,000 mega site for a price of 2,700 ISK. To p normally, to put up that buy order, you have to put up all the ISK up front. So 5,000 times 2710.27 means that this person would normally have to put up all 13.5 million ISK in order to put up that buy order. So the market takes the ISK right away as soon as the buy order is put up, and the ISK is then paid out from escrow as the market order is filled. Right. With margin trading, uh, you don't have to pay all of the ISK up front as the person who's putting up the buy order. So if I had market tra margin trading trained up to level 5, I would only have to put up maybe three and a half, quarter, three and a half million ISK. And then as people try to sell me, as people try to sell Megasite to my buy order, some of the money is taken out of escrow, the rest of the money is taken directly out of my wallet to make up the difference. Problem is, sometimes you've got a buy order for a single really expensive item on things that you would expect to be expensive, like, say, ships or Tech 2 rigs or such. Or maybe it's a buy order on minerals and the minimum volume dictated is uh, 1,000. So the buy order won't accept less than 1,000 megasite being sold to it at a time. Normally, minimum volume does have a use. If you have a regional wide order, you don't care where somebody sells you this stuff as long as it's in the region, then you might want to set a minimum volume on your buy order. That way you're not running around 200 different stations picking up 10 units of minerals each. So you could dictate a, a minimum volume for that purpose. There, There is a legitimate use for that, but there is also a scammer's use for that. And namely, they might set up a really high-priced buy order on some things. For example, I could try setting up a 
5,000 ISK buy order for Megasite with a minimum volume of 10,000 units. So in order to sell to my buy order, they have to have all 10,000 units of Megasite on hand. Now, the total value of that would be what is 5,000 times 10,000. If I am doing the math correctly in my head, that should be 50 million S worth of Megasite at such a price. So if I didn't have margin trading, I'd have to put up all 50 million S up front. With margin trading at about level 5, I'd only have to put up 12.5 million isk. But I can cause the order to fail. So if I empty out my entire wallet to an alt character, such that I have no isk in my wallet, then when somebody tries to sell me 5, 000, uh, 10,000 units of megasite at 5,000 isk each, the game discovers that I don't have enough isk in the wallet, and the market order goes poof. Now a fine is applied by the game to my wallet, pushing my wallet into a negative ISK balance, but that's not a particularly large amount. Right. And whoever was trying to sell to my buy order is stuck with the, mater with the material he was trying to sell. How is that used in a scam? Well, I could try selling, putting up a sell order for Megasite in one location for 4,000 ISK a unit, and then put up a buy order in a different location for 5,000 5, ISK a unit. So somebody bu uh, buys the mega site off my sell order to uh, try and make a profit, but when they get over to my buy order, they realize they can't fill the buy order. It just went poof because I didn't have the money to pay the uh, for the rest of the transaction. So beware of really high-priced buy orders that look too good to be true chances are it probably is, especially so if it's got a ridiculous uh, minimum volume requirement. Minerals, in a, uh, where the buy order is limited to the station, generally the minimum volume will be one. Very hard for that to be a scam. Alright, so that's market scams, contract scams, uh, those are the two most common types of scams that I can think of, but there are probably other kinds of scams. There was a scam a while ago of another kind of contract scam where people were saying, all right, I'm leaving the game, I'm giving away all my ISK, just sell me one unit of titanium and I will give you all my ISK. That's what they were claiming. And then they would put up a contract in Gita Local that actually did the opposite they would sell you a piece of titanium, and you would give them a massive quantity of ISK. So that's why it's very important to read the contract carefully. All right, not all contracts in GTA Local are scams, but a lot of them are indeed scams. Some are legitimate, but a lot are scams. You gotta be careful. Uh, there used to be a kind of scam where if you where if you were trying to buy a Sharon freighter off contracts, uh, it would say Sharon in the description, but the seller was actually trying to sell you a 900 million isk piece of carbon. All right. So because the two names were similar, it was easy to get confused. That's another reason why you want to read the contract extremely carefully. All right, 900 million isk for a Sharon freighter is reasonable. 900 million isk for a piece of carbon, not so much. So always read the contract very carefully before you agree to it. So this is a contract for selling a Sharon class Kaldari freighter in somewhere in the every shore region for 950 million isk reasonable price that looks and it's in high security that looks legitimate be careful about contracts where stuff is being sold to you in low security it's possible that those are traps so as soon as you accept the contract uh, whoever issued the contract knows that you're coming and they may set up a gate camp to try and destroy you or they may wait for you to dock in the station pick up the stuff undock and then they will destroy you and then if it survived, they'll take it off your wreckage and then put it up on contracts again to try and lure somebody else in. 
All right. Caveat emptor. Let the buyer beware. Thank you for watching.